So we have to enter into the recovery mode. You can either do it directly or you can enter into the hardware method by long pressing the volume down, volume up and the power key at the same time. You also have to make sure that your device is rooted and you have installed some custom recovery such as TWRP. So first we have to wipe the current ROM which is running the device. Select Dalvik System Data Catch and then swipe to wipe the data. This took more than 5 minutes for me so we have to wait patiently till it's completely done. So once the wipe process is done, click back to come back to the main screen. And now we have to install the CM14 zip file. Click on install and look for the zip file which we had pasted in the SD card. Click add more zips and then add the correct OpenG apps zip file too. And then swipe to confirm flash. Flashing took more than a couple of minutes for me. And do make sure that you download the correct version that is ARM64 version of OpenGApps 7.1 because I first downloaded the wrong version and it didn't work. So make sure you download the correct version in the first place itself. And so once it's done, get back to the main screen and click on reboot system. And you can sit back and relax for at least 10 or 15 minutes because the first boot will obviously take more time than you think. So please be patient until it installs completely and boots up. So it has finally done installing. Now let us set up the device. So we are in the CM14.1 for this nougat. Let's go to settings. And so once you install the Pixel Launcher, it feels exactly like the Google Pixel phone with a 3D touch kind of icons. And the app drawer is simply swipe up and swipe down gesture based app draw. And you can see the animation is super slick. The notification bar is also fancy and it's new in the Android 7.1. Let's take a look at the camera app now.
it has two modes the auto hdr and hdr mode and by default the auto hdr mode is always on you can even trigger the hdr mode on let's take two different photos in both the modes and compare them as you can see this was taken with hdr mode and this was auto hdr mode The camera app also includes a lot of manual controls. And it's good to see a live filter option in a Cyanogen mod room for the first time. And it works fine. And it shows real time previews too. So it's good. Now let's take a look at the video mode and that too comes with a lot of manual controls and surprise the stabilization option too EIS so it's cool let's play the video and it's smooth and fine and the next one I found interesting was the music app I mean the interface looks very good it's easy to use and look at the lock screen animation the equalizer looks super dope and not just that even closing and swiping it off is cool and now coming to the most important feature of Nougat that is multi window app support so to do that just long press an app and take it to the top and then you can select the second tab here I'm running a YouTube video in the bottom window and I'm using play store at the same time in the top window so you can see the video still plays and I can still access the play store app without any problem And now something interesting yeah the new emojis it looks very clean and it's different from the marshmallow as you can see there are a lot of new emojis here you can long press to change the color scheme of it there's a selfie emoji too that's cool Diamond looks bigger. As you can see, there are lots and lots of emojis. The colors are different, the size is different. And there we have the Indian flag. So, emojis in Android 7.1 looks cool. And then the notification toggle has a first row of icons or shortcuts which you can access easily which was missing in the previous version that is marshmallow has that cool slick animation to it which was not there in the marshmallow version and another interesting feature would be the gesture support which you can find in the settings so basically using gestures you can turn on camera control music and flashlight so drawing a simple C on the screen would directly open the camera app and let's try the flashlight now by drawing an O and yes it triggers the flashlight on doing it again switches it off cool so that was a quick look at the features of cm14.1 you can find the download links in the description down below